Syracuse is giving out 150 free carbon monoxide detectors. This comes after a 12-year-old boy died from carbon monoxide poisoning just last month. WSBT's Suzanne Spencer talked with neighbors of 12-year-old Skyler who say they don't want to see this happen again. The poisonous gas is colorless, odorless, and deadly. The fire department chief told me 40% of the nation doesn't have carbon monoxide detectors, and they wanted to do something about it. I don't want anybody else to go through, go through what Skylar had to go through. Nine-year-old Garrett lost his best friend Skylar to carbon monoxide poisoning last month. That happens like somewhere else, not here. Police say there were two gas-powered generators running in the basement of Skylar's home because the power had been shut off. When his parents found him, he was unresponsive. Neighbors rushed to help. Their youngest son came over just yelling that Skylar wasn't breathing. So we went over and did CPR on him, but we were not able to revive him. That's where the fire department comes in. They were the first ones on the scene. Say, I can't change what's happened in the past, but I want to try to pre prevent it in the future, as our department does. The department is giving out 150 free carbon monoxide detectors to anyone in the community to try and prevent this from happening again. Most people don't have them, and we're well aware of that. We don't see them a lot of times. We see smoke alarms, but CO alarms, you don't see that often. Neighbors bought carbon monoxide detectors right after Skylar died. The fire department will also test carbon monoxide levels in your blood. It really hits home when everybody, when it happens right next door, and it makes you really think about, you know, the safety of your kids and how, you, what you can do to prevent things like this from happening. The fire department says to never run a generator inside. They say don't even run your car inside an open garage. The poisonous gas can still leak into the house. Anyone is welcome to stop by the fire department or call to receive a free detector. Reporting live in the newsroom, Suzanne Spencer, WSBT, Channel 22 News.